ಹೇಳ so i am recording it for those who will be joining in between the discussion so i formally welcome you all on behalf of deep parenting and now onwards you will see me picture in picture and there will be a presentation on screen the moment you see this on screen i hope it is visible now just just tell if it is visible we have reshma from hyderabad she is also from teaching i hope it is visible this discussion we are going to have about this role in detail parental coach and uh, i would really appreciate if you contribute in discussion for you chat box is open and you can also unmute and and give responses i'll be asking so many questions from you just to seek your view point and that will be great if you give keep giving your inputs so the organization which is hosting today's discussion the name of organization is deep parenting deep is a short form of developmental encouraging and effective parenting so today in next one hour we will be discussing about who this we are we will talk about the host organization a bit about it we'll talk about the scope of parental coaching as a career in india i'm sure many of you are interested to know how you can build your career in this field and what is the scope in future we will also talk about why parent coaching is important who parent coaches are what they do how they do how they serve families and most important is how they earn and up to what extent they can earn how you can be one parenting coach if you want to become one and as an association of parent coaches how do we support our coaches this will be the flow of discussion today so i'll start first about the developmental encouraging and effective parenting it is an association of parent coaches in india so far it is only association in india and we are world's largest group we started our operation in 2015 when we started we were 13 coaches and today we are more than 2300 coaches working in 16 different countries and it all started from india and all those like coaches those who are working in other countries like usa germany iceland canada malaysia oman nigeria india singapore dubai all they started from here only they got their training from this organization so we are right now having six operations in 16 different countries which includes developed countries like uk usa canada also and in india if i talk about we collectively in last 9 years we have trained 1.5 million parents 15 lakh lakh parents we have served in this country and we have served more than 300 plus school brands means if we talk about schools it will be around more than 2500 3000 schools we have served in last 9 years and in total almost all national international state level brands we have served more than 300 brands we have served in last 9 years of service that's about us and our next milestone is to enable 5 million parents by 2026 all our operations all our drives are heading towards this milestone 1.5 million parents we have trained and our objective is to train coach 5 million parents by 2026 so that's about us this organization deep parenting now coming to the next point which is very important i hope it is it, it is going to answer a lot of questions in your mind when we are talking about scope of parental coaching as career specifically in india so for that i need your view point if i talk about child development i hope you all agree that child development is one among prime goals of each family do you agree yes agree you can write in the chat box if you agree quickly yes you write if you agree that child development is one of the prime goal of every family thank you lakshmi thanks anshu thanks anil to for quick response thanks noshin i hope each and every parent will agree with the fact right that it is their prime goal now there are a lot of variables which are responsible a lot of 
lot of variables which are responsible for child development we found that these two variables act as foundational pillars role of parents and role of education system if we talk about child development these two pillars play an important role role of parents and role of education system i hope you agree that when it comes to foundation of child development role of parent and role of education system is going to play an important if you agree with me on this let's go one by one and focus on each pillar for example if i talk about education system post independence the moment country got independent they they given enough importance to improve the education system from government schools to they brought private organizations a lot of companies into curriculum building publishers a lot of private and government organizations are working to improve the system there are ministries there are budgets there are departments for what to improve the system they are trying i'm not saying they are doing their best but they are trying to improve the system have you seen the work done by government and private organizations to improve the system to improve of life people working in the system teachers principals trainings they are trying new education policy is one good example that there are people few people working to improve this system have you seen any work done by government any department wherein they are working on improving role of a parent how to talk to the child how to correct the child have you seen have you seen any department government organization any ministry who is trying to create some portals some training to improve role of a parent in child development so far no can we say that this pillar is not important can we say that we have possibility to ignore this pillar no this pillar is equally important rather more important than education system and we are giving enough importance to choosing that that education system right good school good teachers we investing a lot but are we investing on ourselves not exactly but can we say that there is no need there is dire need if i talk about this country we have around 50 to 60 crore parent in the country and if i if i count on birth rate in the country every year 2.5 crore new parents join the bigger group this is india's numbers and if i talk about all the training which we have done in last 9 years with that large capacity of parent coaches we have trained only 15 lakh parents and if i put together all the work done by all coaches organizations working in this field we haven't trained more than 25 to 30 lakh parents so far touched upon not even trained and even if we focus on new parent count only 10% of new parent count still we are under capacity huge scope is there means next 30 35 years of our society this for this career it's going to be shining diamond period it is and post covid people started realizing the mistakes they have done in parenting they have started facing some challenges and now they are quite vocal about those challenges have you have you heard parents like many of you are teachers have you heard parents complaining about child development yes like on the day of ptm i'm sure you get a lot of queries ke child's concentration is not up to the mark how we can improve yes iska dhyan nahi hai padhai mein baaki to sab theek hai padhta hi nahi hai bas yes or no have you heard have you heard parents complaining about child's hyperactivity ek jagah tik ke nahi baithta child keep running concentration is not good have you heard parents complaining about tantrums of child always demand something more toys more fun but they don't use it properly have you heard parents complaining about mobile phone tv gadgets very common problem and there are many parents those who are worried about child's behavior child is shy not good at confidence not willing to write 
not sharing things with us. Many parents are complaining. We want to know about their life, what's happening in their life. They're not sharing things with us. Yes or no? And those who have teenagers, their worries are different. They are worried about child's, child's um, discipline. If we enforce rules on child, they will go rebel. They are getting influenced by their peer group. What if my teen won't talk to me? What shall I do? And many more questions are there. All those who are teachers, therapists, counselors, consultants, I'm sure you have been asked these questions from these parents. But they will, they will never tell you that I don't know how to raise the child. They will always tell you that my child is having this problem. My child is not good at this. My child doesn't is throwing tantrum. They will never say that I don't know how to manage tantrum. Agree? And these problems are there. Many more like that. The only thing they don't know is whom to ask this question. Because the teacher to whom they're asking, that teacher is a subject matter expert. Are they expert on parenting? Can we say that? They are definitely expert of their own subject. Maybe there are many teachers, they are facing similar problems in their own parenting, which parents highlight. And that's where the role of a parent coach fits in. The one who is going to address all these challenges. The one who is going to enable parents to be effective in their role as parent. If we talk about the descriptive definition of who is a parent coach. A parent coach is someone who helps parents with parenting challenges by offering them alternative perspectives. I hope you will agree with me on one um, fact. That every child is different, every parent is different, and every family is different. Do you agree? We all are unique. If you agree with the fact that God has made everyone unique, every child, every parent, every family, family dynamics, then can we have a ready-made solution in parenting? We are right now 27 in the meeting. If I share a common solution to a common problem to you, will it be helping all? A solution which worked at my place, will it work at your place? Is it... Is it sure? There is no ready-made solutions in parenting. It will always be tailor-made. And that is why it is very important that you need to offer an apt perspective to the family. An alternative perspective. And if it is tailor-made, then the first step in coaching starts with assessment. Without assessment, you will not be able to create a tailor-made solution. So in coaching, the first step will be assessment and you need to have all assessment tools. Many of you may be already helping parents in raising their kids, but if you don't have assessment tools, your solutions may not be helping because you will not be able to create an app and, and appropriate solution for them. So the first step is assessment and we provide assessment tool to our coaches, multiple type of different tools to know their personality, to their their abilities, interest, to know the family dynamics, to know their behavioral issues, multiple assessment tools we have, which enriches a coach's work. It brings professionalism to their work. And since every family is different, so there has to be an app solution. To give an app solution, I need to have multiple solutions. I need to have multiple perspectives. So as a coach, you need to be thorough in assessment. You need to have all tools. And second, you need to have multiple solutions of the same problem. If all 25 of you will give me a common problem that my child is throwing tantrum, and I, if I give you common solution, it will not work. And if I have to give you an app solution, I need to have multiple solutions. Then only I will be able to serve all 25 clients. Agree? Yes or no? If I have only one solution, so can I solve all problems? No, that's not possible. And that's where we need thoroughness on assessment and having more and more perspectives, which we help our coaches with all assessment tools, 
at multiple different perspectives and solutions for same problem. How these coaches work? I'm sure you may be interested to know how these coaches are helping families. What is their way of, of working? The modus operandi. So there are three ways coaches are working. Tomorrow when you will become parent coach, you will be working in three different ways. The first approach is personal coaching. This approach may families come to us. They come up with a problem and we help them with solutions. We do assessment and further we do coaching interventions. This is the most effective way of helping families, which we refer as personal coaching session. Our coaches are doing seminars, workshops in schools and corporates. Even you will be doing once you get into this role. So that's another way to serve families. And the most remunerating approach today is serving people through courses. Our coaches launch their own courses short-term and long-term courses, online and offline. You will be able to launch your own online course on parent. In all three ways, you will be able to serve once you become a parent coach. One-on-one -on -one coaching interventions, doing seminars and workshops, and launching your own course. And we have multiple courses ranging from 500 rupees to 50,000 rupees, depending on its duration. Right, One-day course to around one year course. Those our coaches are running for parents. So that type of programs even you can launch once you become a parent coach. There are these other three ways to serve families to earn out of this role. Now, I'm sure when I'm talking about all this, when you were thinking about parent coaching, you must have asked this question to yourself. Why parent will come to me? Why they will see me as a good resource? Why Anyone will come for parent coaching. When And parents have this view that I know my child best. Why shall I go to someone, some coach to know my child? Why somebody will come to you? To answer this, I will be asking two questions to you. And I seek your responses in the chat box. How many of you agree that role of a parent is very important when it comes to child development. Parents' role is very important when it comes to child development. How many of you agree? Quick response in the chat box. Do you agree that your role as a parent is very important in your child's development? Do you think any parent will say no to it? There's no parent who will be saying no, that my role is important. The other question is, how many of you agree that your role as a parent is getting tougher and complex with the changing time? With the changing lifestyle, the role of the parent is getting tougher and complex with the changing time. Do you agree? The role of the role of the parent is getting tougher and complex as the time is changing. Do you agree? If your answer to both the questions is yes, that role of a parent is getting tougher and role of a parent is getting complex, then I'll take you somewhere back in the history of mankind. If you go back a whenever we realized that doctor ka role is very important hai and it is tough, we brought standard qualification to become a doctor. If we realized the role of a teacher is very important and tough, we brought standard qualification to become a teacher. Or aap kisi bhi role ki baat kar lo, jise hume laga as a society ke ye role bahut important hai and it is tough, we brought standard qualification for same, whether it is a role of a lawyer, engineer, right? Whether it is even certain vocations like um, electrician, carpenters. For each role, there is some training available. Yes or no? Each role. Or aapne abhi bataya ke this role as a parent is also getting tougher and complex. Had you got any training? Kya aapko koi basic do's and don'ts ya koi training mili? How to raise your kids? Yes? You have been you have raised your kids with your own wisdom. Sometime it worked, sometime it didn't work. 
now you know it better how many times it happened that knowingly unknowingly you end up hurting your child through your parental approaches has it happened with you that sometime unknowingly unwantedly unconsciously as parent your actions behaviors and approaches may have harm your kids emotions they may have hindered their growth intentionally no parent is bad there is no parent who is a bad parent every parent is a good parent every parent has a good intent of child development nobody has a bad intent every parent is a good parent right but still it's not about being good or bad it's about being effective unknowingly many a time what we want to do we end up doing different if i ask you like all of you shall answer this question as parents i want to uh, highlight one aspect that what is our intent it can be different from our actions if i ask this question to 100 parents that how many of you want your kids to be independent and bold what will be the answer if you have to answer this question that as a parent do you want your kids to be independent early in life do you want them to be bold yes or no do you want your kids to be independent early in life do you want them to be bold hardly any parent will be there who wants their child to be dependent they all want their kids to be independent at least they shall not be submissive they shall not have fear of the world around every parent want their kids to be bold regardless to their gender even today this is what we have experienced yes or no but the this is intention which you are telling me that every parent want their kids to be independent this is intention but action is different 65% of parents in urban and semi urban areas they are doing over protective parenting through their parenting they are not making their kids independent rather they are making their kids dependent that means their intention and action is different how many times you have seen that there are parents those who have gifted playstations to their kids xbox playstations um they have given mobile phones to play video games have you seen parents around you have you seen parents those who have gifted playstation to their kids yes xbox mobile phones if you go and ask them that why you gifted it they will always have a positive reason i want entertainment for my child i want that they shall not be deprived of anything but they don't know how they are harming their child's brain if we scientifically explain a parent that how they are disturbing child's brain waves and how they are doing a permanent damage to child if they are involving their child into 3d view video games before 12 years of age believe me no parent will be ever gifting this gaming consoles to their kids gaming devices to their kids provided they know the harm since they don't know the harm they keep gifting these gadgets ho sakta humne bhi kisi ek ne we may have gifted that stuff to our kids because we don't know unknowingly we end up harming them and there are many things like that the excellence of our parent coaches is their content their content is powerful enough to make parents mindful to make make parent effective and i'm sure when you when you shown interest to become a parent coach you must have read something about parenting you must have seen some videos about parenting i just want to tell you so that you need to have a thorough view point about parental coaching parenting is not just a topic it's just not a chapter of something it's a complete subject which has multiple different chapters multiple different domains like you may have heard of the concept called mindful parenting have you heard conscious parent this is just one chapter of the entire subject it has multiple topics under it but it's not complete in nature one domain it is on 
Then there is other domain called digital parent. Today we are living in two different worlds: the real world and the digital world. So, how to live in this digital world? How to keep kids safe, healthy, mentally and physically in digital world? That we cover under digital parenting. Then the most powerful topic under parenting is developmental parenting. This is not the vertical. You may have heard of it. Then there is a vertical called strategic parenting. There are a lot of problems in parenting which can be resolved only with strategies. And there is one vertical called gentle parenting. And there are many more domains like this. Why I am highlighting it? Because sometimes we read a book on one subject and we feel it is complete in nature. No. For example, if you read something on conscious parenting or you attended something on conscious parenting, it's just few aspects of parenting. Not every aspect. Same way, gentle parenting is more to deal with communication and correction approaches of child. It's not everything about parenting. So each domain has different different topics. I'll just be giving you some few important topics of each domain so that you can understand as a parent coach in which all areas you can help clients. Like in mindful parenting, communication is covered. The way you talk to your child, the way you listen to your child, it's an art which can be learned. And you can be mindful about it. Many parents complain that my child is lying. How to encourage a child to be truthful? And what are the reasons why kids lie? How to remove those reasons? This is also one topic covered under mindful parenting, a detailed topic. Another topic is, which is a prominent problem of time, bribes. Parents end up giving bribes to get things done. Bina extra the A parents are unable to get things done from their kids. You do this, I give you this. If they have established a bright model at home, how we can convert it into reward model? This we train people on. Then many parents have questions, young parent, parents, that what is the importance of toys and games and when to introduce games, what type of games or what all things. This is a detailed topic we covered. The worst thing a parent can do is to tag and label their child. They unknowingly damage their child's life for long. So tagging and labeling, that is also one topic. And if unknowingly, if any parent has labeled their child, how to, how to redo it, how to detag it. This is a powerful topic. How to make kids independent. Every parent want to know how to bond with kids, how to spend quality time with them, how to positively guide. Not every parent is positively guiding their kids, positively communicating. Now, this is also something which we are not mindful about. We all want to be a positive communicator with the child, but are we really? Not exactly. There are researches which highlight by the time the child reaches 15 years of age, they have heard no and don't around 5 lakh times. Kisse suna hoga? Parents, teachers and elders at home. 15 saal ke honne tak bachcha 5 lakh bar no and don't sun chuka hai. Are we really... Can we call ourselves positive guide or positive communicators? Unknowingly, we are into negative highlights. Then when we talk about digital parenting, there are a lot of topics covered under it. If we talk about life of toddler and preschooler in digital world, it's a different topic, technology and toddlers. We talk about impact of screen on child's brain and eyes, 3D view games, rules of screen viewing, content validation, which is the least this top topic. Just to ask you, if I say, you have to just validate my words. If you don't agree, please write not agree. Right? Can, if I say that every cartoon is meant for every age, is it right or wrong? Every cartoon program is meant for every age. Is it right or wrong? Tell me, this statement which I used is right or wrong? Every cartoon program is meant for every age. Wrong. Lakshmi has highlighted, Manisha, Archana, this is a wrong statement. Now my question to you, honestly, you have to answer this question. A lot of mothers and fathers over here are there. You just tell me, how many times you went to Google to check that which cartoon your program, cartoon program your child shall watch? How many times you check the minimum age of watching that cartoon program? 
yes if you went to broadcast industry website if you went to channel website to check is particular program ki minimum age kya hai kabhi check kiya no but you just told me not every cartoon is meant for every age and you haven't checked it that means what we think and what we do can be two different things we should check absolutely we, we need to check based on the graphics the graphics they are using the colors speed of visuals we need to validate it based on the language we have to validate it based on behaviors we have to validate it based on actions used in that program because child is going to take language behavior and actions from the digital world are we conscious about it may or may not be just highlighting few points though it's a detailed topic i'm just giving you a food for thought then a lot of parental control apps are there support system is there if you want to control child's tech engagements then technology and teens is a different topic because a teenager is choosing their own digital environment unke case mein they need to be trained parents need to be trained on digital truths presence of online predators and dark web cyber safety guidelines digital addictions which is the biggest problem today abhi pune mein ek recent incident hua tha a child jumped from second floor kyunki use mobile ke ne diya parents is is case mein ek game ne use bola tha jump karne ke liye the play child was playing a game the game asked to jump from second right lucknow mein there was a boy who shot his mother real mother because that mother wasn't allowed that child to play pubg around 2 years ago digital addictions are taking over in a big way how to prevent it this you can train people so that's under digital parenting and developmental parenting is very powerful it's all about holistic child development of child all those parents those who complain ke bacche ki concentration achhi nahi hai add adhd right slow learners handwriting is not good child is shy not confident not speaking lot of problems they highlight you will be able to give remedies for these all topics are covered under developmental parenting if child has a strength how to nurture it to excellence um how many of you heard of that there are different different personality profiles have you attended every any personality profiling training ever anyone this topic is also covered under it where we train we train you on personality profiling concept and we also give you tool how to identify personality of your client then those who have grown up kids they are bothered about child's career decision how to take informed career decision child safety reinforcements healthy eating habits biggest problem of parents whatever be the age of child eating is a big time problem healthy eating not eating eating with mobile phone these all topics are covered under developmental parenting. then strategic parenting where we talk about tantrums wrong behavioral conditioning instant gratification to delayed gratification classical conditioning and reconditioning plan how to have consensus at home ye joint families ki sabse badi problem hai ek parent ha bolta hai to dusra na how to have consensus at home this is another powerful topic facilitation how to do facilitation for how to have discipline at home all these topics are covered under strategic parenting gentle parenting mein there are topics like positive reinforcement without hurting the child without punishment how do you can correct your child supervisory mindset versus friendly mindset principles of encouragement and many more topics are there in parenting i just want to highlight by telling about all these topics that parenting is not just one topic it's a complete subject which has multiple sub topics and sub domains once you are trained on all then only you will be pro to help others in parental coaching and that's what we do we enable you to become a complete parent coach where we have designed three certification programs according to the child age like our first program is focusing on toddlers and preschoolers parental needs if your anyone is raising a young child unke parents ko coach karne ke liye this certification program is designed so it means you will be you will become a coach to train parents of toddlers and preschoolers then there's one certification program for teens and adolescents and 
third is for med schoolers three certification programs are there and it will be in the format of train the trainer that means it's thoroughly discussion oriented program we take live case studies it's not theory only it's all practical program and it is live where you can ask questions where you will be raising doubts it will be addressed there and then it's not ki aap koi recording sun ke seekhoge live you are attending classes and since these classes are live to hamare batches specific dates ko shuru hote hain jaise upcoming batches which are there in 2024 those are 24 mein hamare paas we have three batches 11th november we have a batch which is in hindi right the entire program is in hindi and all other programs are in english so december mein do program shuru ho rahe hain 11 am to 1 pm batch we do training for 2 hours every day so that is starting on 3rd december 11 se 1 baje 16th december batch is starting timing is 7 to 9 pm do mahine ke ye batches hain agar puri program team program it takes 2 months to complete 11th november ka hindi mein program hai uske baad 2025 mein there are two batches january mein one is on 15th january other is on 27th january just a minute it will be on screen one is on 15th january which is 4 to 6 pm batch and 27th january 11 am to 1 pm batch all these batch details will be given to you by our training coordinator you can choose whichever batch you want to choose and for each level of certification you get a separate certificate this certificate will be making you eligible to work in india and abroad right um since we are already working in countries like uk usa canada so you can work abroad also you can work anywhere in india that we are working in almost all government and private organizations then detailed profile of certified coaches will be visible on website agar aap baki coaches ka profile dekhna chahte ho to you can visit deepparentingcoaches.com same way aapka profile banega jahan par aap apne blogs likh sakte ho you can highlight your services you can highlight your certifications it's a very powerful website you can visit deepparentingcoaches.com once you become a coach with us aapko sari ppt content and ebooks will be shared so that you can further conduct training programs investment in each program is different first level certification the investment is 6000 rupees second level certification the investment is 5000 rupees and third level certification investment is 4000 if you want to become complete coach the total fee is 15000 rupees and once you become coach with us you attend lot of free programs which is one each quarter we do healthy teens healthy india digital marketing program creative making how to be on ted how to be on josh talks book writing we help you in writing books how to capitalize on social media digital marketing trainings are free each quarter it happens and if anyone wants to visit website you can visit deepparenting.com you can visit deepparentingcoaches.com and you can visit deepparenting.org these are the three websites you can visit our websites and once you become coach with us we help you with knowledge and content we help you in marketing also i'm sure you must have faced this problem that once you become learn something you become a coach you get certified the biggest problem is creating business how to get clients how to launch your programs we help you we help you with this marketing support once you complete your 2 months program then 3 months 90 days marketing plan we will be giving you which will help you to brand yourself which will help you to build your credibility and you will get business we also help you with tech support tomorrow you will need any digital marketing support or so you want to have your own lms we support you and for one year after your training for one year you will be supported by a mentor for your coaching interventions so one year on job training is also there we also support you in launching your courses you need not to invest in any digital marketing program till diwali there is one diwali bonanza scheme going on means you can avail this program in 50% cost this is till 4th of november otherwise our fees is 15000 rupees we offer this at diwali and on women's day only 
only yearly twice we have schemes so you can avail this offer 50% wala so same all three programs with entire setup you will be getting in 7500 rupees if you want to avail you have to avail before 4th of november and by just by registering for this uh, program means if you paid fee under this scheme under this offer further you can choose any batch you can choose batches of december november or january that is your call and we also support you to reach out to schools and you will be going getting support from mentors proposals and everything so that you can also serve the same brands which we have serving in your towns also what we are claiming the way we will be supporting for that you can visit our facebook page and read the reviews or you can go to google and read reviews hundreds of reviews are there people those who attended these programs in the past how they are getting support from us what we claim whether we deliver or not people have written their heart out long long reviews and many are nlp practitioners many are counselors many are doctorates in psychology many are school principals many are teachers mothers hr professionals fathers people with different different profiles even um, pediatricians gynecologists orthodontics lot of professionals so just read their reviews many reviews are there our uh, coaches will share that review links with you read reviews it will make your the season easy they those who invested time and money with us how much value they have got if you want to talk to any coach with us you can visit deepparentingcoaches.com call any coach hundreds of profiles are there their phone numbers are mentioned you can call any coach you can talk to them ask them what how much value they have got from this so that's about this program those who want to avail this and those who want to register you have to convey to our co training coordinators those who invited you um kirti in may have invited you yogita stephy or neetu have invited you anyone those the one who invited you just text them that you want to register they will help you to avail this discount also we will be sharing this recording this duration will be 2 months the all three programs which you will be availing in 7500 rupees the all three programs will be completed in 2 months after 2 months your marketing plan will start with us which is for 3 months and within those 3 months you will be building up your business you will be launching your course right and you will be full fledged in business in your profession so that's from our side if any query you have you can ask any query you have you can ask yeah it's a complete course for 2 months every day we meet it's not weekend program every day we meet monday to friday for 2 hours so in total the program is of 65 to 70 hours it's okay nashin you can connect to our training coordinators this recording will be shared with you timing it will be different different timing we have 11 am to 1 pm batch also 4 pm to 6 pm batch also 7 pm to 9 pm batch also even recorded programs is also will you can talk to these training coordinators they will share with you batch details they will share with you payment details so that you register for this offer after this offer though it is again same 6000 south 6000 for level 1 for second it is 5000 for third it is 4000 by paying 15000 you can any time do this program there are programs in hindi also hindi program is only one program which is starting on 11th november 4 pm to 6 pm um there are three ways to earn out of this certification once you get into this role match mean you you can start your coaching business so you earn out of one on one coaching and our coaches are charging 1500 to 3000 rupees per intervention from their coaches and second approach is you can serve schools corporates you can do workshop seminars there and third is you can launch your own course if you have that flair of launching we support you in launching your course on parenting and uh, that way you can earn out of this role there are new coaches those who are earning maybe 
15 to 30,000 rupees per month. And there are seasoned coaches, those who are earning 4, 4 lakh rupees per month, those who have launched their courses. So it takes around, around 90 days to build your credibility and brand. And after completion of your program, within 90 days, you start earning. That's how you earn. Renuka, you, if you are suitable, 11 to 1 is suitable to you. You have to just text back to our training coordinator. She will be helping you to register for the program. Back details she will give you. Any other query you have, anyone? Thanks, Chandrani. Thanks for joining. If you have, I just want to tell you at the end, if you have mood, if you want to get into parental coaching, there is no better organization than deep parenting. And you will not be getting better than this price. And especially when this offer is going on, it is available at 50% price. You call anyone in the world, this program is not available less than 1.5 lakh rupees. We are an association of parent coaches. That is why our prices are quite reasonable, but we create value. You can read these reviews. It will make your decision making easy. Those who want to attend English program, they can attend English program. Those who want to attend Hindi program, they can attend Hindi program. So our coaches, training coordinators will help you. Number to contact, Zinath, you, you, how you got that today's link to join? If you just tell how you got that today's link, the one who shared the link, achha, okay, your husband given you, I'm just giving you this number. Um, Yogita, if you can share your number just quickly so that Zenith will. Yogita, quickly share your number. Okay, uh, you can call me. Um, Zenith, I've just shared my number 7009 Just connect back to me. I'll help you to register for the program. Installments, if you want to avail discount offer, then installment is not there. Otherwise, you can check with your training coordinators. They may help you to join. Is it possible for me to join the demo tomorrow? Which demo? This is the demo. You will get the recording. Alka. This is the, the, the first discussion on it. You will get the recording. See the recording and make up your mind if you want to join. This scheme is available till Diwali. You can avail this program in 50% cost, right? Any other query anyone is having? So I'm grateful you joined today. Thank you, Lakshmi. Thanks, Chandrani. Thanks, Alka. Thanks, Zinath. Thanks, Hafsa. Appreciate your presence. Thanks, Renuka. Thank you, Mehajameen. Appreciate your presence. Steffi will help you, Alka, for sure. She will help you to get to know. So see you in the program. Bye-bye. Happy festivities. Bye-bye.